What's going on guys, z 3 here and we're back with another build in the volcano. Um, right where we're standing at the moment is the, one of our old builds. It's um, an Archer automatic knocker outer thinema bob. But if you want to have a look at this build, um, check out in the description below. It's basically arrows and blunt ar bows and blunt arrows. But yeah, definitely worth checking out. Uh, but today, that's not what we're here for. Uh, for here, for today, we are here for these two pillar builds that are up here. That's uh, a new build that I put together. Quite a nice little build. Um, you will notice when I get close to it, I'll get heat stroke. But as long as you've got uh, three in Vitality, which is 30, uh, you should be fine. Uh, you'll make it up there all right. So we'll take this elevator up there and as we do that we'll get heat stroke as you can see there. I am in god mode at the moment so I can show you around a bit easier but um, if you had that three ticks in um, vitality you, you, you'll be fine. You'll be able to make it up all the way to a safer area but that's good to heat stroke so no one can climb. Uh, good defence, good off on defence as well. It's always there, it's always working for you. Uh, so we'll get up this first elevator and I'll take you guys over here to show you these heaters. So the heaters go right around each pillar. As you can see there, there's uh, quite a few heaters and um, you can always come in here and turn them off too if you want um, to work on the place or something like that. But it's always good to have them on. Uh, so that's where we come up. So when you come up here you want to str run straight over into this one and then take this elevator up. As you can see the heaters are around that side as well. So we'll come up here. And there's lots of room down the bottom here for animals or fighters or anything like that you want to store down the bottom. Plenty of room for that. Uh, up here there's like archer platforms. Got two there. Uh, we'll come in here and have a better look. Uh, once you come up this elevator with the heat stroke, you want to come over here. Stand in the middle here and the heat stroke will get out to hot. So if you just wait around a bit, it uh, should be fine. You should start losing the heat right now. There we go. So there we go, we've lost the heat. So this is the crafting area. As you can see, it's all the kilns are on this side, all the cauldrons are on this side. We got quite a few there, uh, looks like six. Six of each, I guess. That's usually pretty even, yeah, six of each. Uh, over here is your carpenter benches and dryers. And if we go at the top here, we got the tanners. There's three of those, as you can see there. Um, over here is armor benches, two of each, two improved, two normal. And then if we go upstairs, um, this will probably better off being a storage or something like that. But um, this is how we've got to set it up now. As you can see, it's two doors to get in there, so and it's up high, so it's just a little bit more protection. But yeah, that's this side. Um, also, before I leave here, there is a vault on the roof, which can be accessed from here. So yeah, this, the vaults are a little bit extra storage. Very nice to have. Now uh, we'll come out here and we'll jump over here as you can see we'll get heat stroke again. But as you can see arches are down on the bottom there on both sides. And you can have arches or fighters around the edges here too. Uh, but in this room it's more of a communal room so you could uh, divide this into different rooms for your clan. You could have quite a big clan up here if you wanted to. Uh, over here is the kitchen, so we've got the kitchen pimped out. Uh, we'll go upstairs again. I've got this set as a bedroom. But as, again, you can just um, divide this up into different rooms for different players. And we've got a vault on the roof again. So yeah, it's just um, good to have that extra storage on each side. And if we come out here, you'll be able to have a look over at the vaults here. So we've got the Yarg Shrine on both uh, sides. Let's see if we can climb up there. But yeah, with the Yarg on both sides and a vault on both sides, um, 
funny a room, funny protection with the bubbles. And also what I wanted to show you with these bubbles, I've had a few comments of people saying that on these pillar builds you can just shoot arrows at them and that's it, it's over and done with. So let's get this uh, flying, let's get some flying stuff here, we can have a bit of a look around too. So there's the two vaults, two shrines. So with these arrows we'll shoot a poison and we'll come in and have a look at this. So as you can see the poison stopped right on these bubbles. It's not going to go any further than that. We can use explosives as well which poison and explosives makes a bigger boom. But yeah as you can see arrows will not go into the, they will just hit the bubble. So yeah, that's um, the, that's why the bubbles are good, and also why it's good is you can have your archers here and they can be shooting down, and that's fine as long as you don't shoot towards the bubble. Say so we shot there, bang! It will just, just go off straight away. You need to shoot from the inside to out. You can shoot from the outside to in, and that won't that won't do it. You can see it's just an explosion. But you can see the size difference of these explosions. And then I'll chuck some gas arrows there. And much bigger. So gas, explosives, much bigger. But let's keep that in mind for when you are raiding. But um yeah, I just wanted to point that out. The bubbles do stop um, any orbs that have been chucked, any um, trebuchets that have been thrown at you, they will stop them as well. Any projectiles, the bubbles will stop. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out for you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this episode. Hit the like on the main comment and subscribe. And hopefully I can get out some more builds. We've been doing one, one a week. So yeah, keep in tuned and uh, we should get more. Catch his land.